Hey y'all, uh, I just figured I'd make a quick little video of this Hampton Bay Landmark 3 Plus here at my grandmother's house. And it may look awfully familiar because it was right there. But that carriage house too there, that polished brass one, came out of my old bedroom that I moved out of. So I took it with me. So it's permanently in there. And I just put this one out here. Um, don't let this fool you. There was an old Kmart or Currents or whatever kind of fan here. Some of you may remember. Before we stripped the ceiling, we took it off. Uh, and it had MDF blades like this. And it never drooped or sagged. And also, these are the same blades as used on the Littleton. So, I can get my hands on a set pretty easily. So, I figured this is a perfect spot for it. Um, we took it down because we stripped the ceiling. Uh, that has been postponed, honestly. Uh, we're just going to put some beadboard up here eventually, I think. We're talking about different things. But anyway, that aside because that really doesn't matter. I figured I'd just demonstrate this since it's now out here. And the old one, I mean, like I said, it was out here for a long, a while, and it uh, never drooped, never really rusted anywhere, and the bearings never seemed to have trouble, so I am pretty confident with this thing being out here, because I like this little fan. I think it's good looking, and it fits perfect right here. And uh, I don't foresee any major hurdles that it'll have to deal with between when it was in there and it being out here. Over there, that's a work area. There's not going to be no fan down there. There's, uh, It hadn't been a fan down in that end in years. But there's pretty much always been one here. And I'm a tall dude. And I can walk under it. I'm 6'3". And I don't fit under the, the globes, but the blades, I'm fine. So. And yes, I will do a demonstration of that. But not right now. <laughs> I'm just doing this one for today. And that buzzing you're hearing is because it's mounted on wood and wood, so it, it does have vibration noises, so that's why you're hearing a pronounced buzz. I'm going to look into seeing if I can put a new capacitor on it um, here in a year or two. It's fine for now, but it seems like it's starting to have some early symptoms of capacitor wear and inefficiency. So hopefully pretty soon I can uh, eradicate, you know, get this free this thing up get it running better get rid of that issue alleviate that issue there's the word i knew it was something like that <laughs> and of course the light this back bulb it's kind of on you can't tell it's just barely barely glowing but no need to replace a bulb that's what lighting up the fridge <laughs> so Two bulbs is enough. Actually, this stays on. This turns off. All right, there you go. And since we're here, I will, um, I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go to the other porch. This is the first really nice day we've had in, like, a week so all right and up on this porch um 
the blades on these could use a tightening. Uh, this light here I'm going to work on. Get it looking a little better. I'll start with this one down here. And these wires here, I'm going to drill holes so that they won't be like this. And of course, these lights here are going to stay. These, these boxes are where the fans were originally, but I moved them just a couple of years ago. These two here have been out here since brand new. They were installed in 2015. And then I moved them just a couple of years ago from their spots here and down there to here. And that's why now there's a fan with a random light a few feet away from it, but that's okay. And down here, there's three lights. It looks pretty, uh, looks a little funky, but again, I don't care. <laughs> I don't remember which is which on these. I, they're so freaking bugged up. I don't even want to touch them. wouldn't hurt <laughs> definitely wouldn't hurt that's the one that's gotten more use out of the two even though now there's furniture on this end and not on that end that's because i technically acquired some of the outdoor furniture <laughs> and these have never had any replacement parts except for bulbs Oh, the bearings in this one are starting to make a sound too. They didn't used to. This one still goes about the, twice the speed of that one. That one needs new capacitor. This one don't. Um, again, something I'm going to look into when I see it necessary. Because I don't want to replace these. These have been out here for, gosh, some of you old timers on the channel know these things have been out here, like I said, since 2015. But that was still during my childhood. So. They look like they've been out here a lot longer than they have. That's because Texas dust. But here, I'm going to give them some TLC here when this porch starts getting more use. Because these are nice. Especially, I, a lot of people on here like the Gazebo 3. Um, I think it's an abomination, and I would gladly burn one. Uh, no, actually, if someone gave me one, of course I'd keep it because, well... It's kind of, I don't have that much money. <laughs> but still, I like these better. And I like the original gazebos the best. Those are a childhood fan for me, not these. These are only childhood fans because I've got them. Yeah, this is high on this one. It's kind of pathetic now. Didn't used to be. Again, just needs a little TLC. And they'll get it, just not right now. I'm holding the camera a little higher off the ground. It's at about my sight line.
this one, when I turn it off, it needs some oil on them bearings because it slows down in no time compared to the other one. I mean, you can see it. Look. This is from high to off. Yeah, the bearings in that one are starting to... Yeah, this one here, this one's a little better. This one still has gusto. And the light on this one is pretty gross. That one down there just had new bulbs put in it, which is why they're a different color. And when I put in the new bulbs, I cleaned the globe on it. Top shot. Go down there and do that with this one. See, this one's still... This one's still... It's been down a little bit. This one seems to have a little bit more. I'll get up on this. This one seems to have a little bit more bearing life in it. <laughs> Definitely. Top shot. Can't really see much. I don't know why people like top shots, but I do them. I mean, it's just dust. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. There's the outdoor fans. I guess we'll go look at the landmark one more time to close out this video. Here's a top shot of him. There you go.